How's it going, guys? Hi. Allow me to talk for a while about my hip. Let me start right away with the history of how I get to decide that I want this hair. It kind of started out as a joke between me and my boss. You see, I used to work for this retail company and he was like, I want to dye my hair gray like Jay Manuel's. And I'm like, fine, go for it. If you want to dye your hair gray, but I'm going to dye my hair pink. And he said, okay. And I'm like, okay. And so by the following weekend, I immediately went to the salon and have them altered my hair. I chose pink because I've been reading lots of comics ever since I was like, I don't know, primary school. And I've always wanted to try pink hair. So yeah, I have them bleach. It was three times bleaching process and have to pre-lighten it and then they can put on the colors. I was lucky that it lasts for over a month. <laughs> And by the way, on the first week after I first acquired this shade of pink, of course it wasn't exactly the same as this because it has already been altered a couple of times by me. <laughs> on the first week of experience as bleached hair person, I tried resorting to natural natural remedy to relish whatever her I have on my hair with coconut oils and olive oils but it does it does help a little bit I mean it suits sort of smooth the hair a little bit but my friend said that my hair feels like straw so I'm guessing that's not good that's not a good sign. So I searched for hair mask and then I started using OA products. I started using the hair mask for conditioner because let's face it, a bleach hair is no longer normal. Conditioner is for normal hair. I don't have normal hair anymore so I just go straight to the hair mask. Lots of people ask me isn't it damaging to have that kind of hair? I mean, you have to bleach it and everything. Yes! <laughs> of course it's damaging, especially if you have dark hair like this and you have to pre-lighten it a couple of times in order for it to get the right shade and then you can finally dye it. I'm really jealous to all you people who have naturally a light hair color like blonde, ash blonde or strawberry blondes whatever blondes ever since I got bleached on the hair I i have been avoiding heat as much as I can unless I have to I would because the last time I did try using curling iron when I was in a hurry I can see the colors faded before my eyes and I was like oh I promise myself that I'll get ready when I have an event I'll prepare it on the night to do wet set yeah, I have some heatless curls methods in store because I can no longer use curling iron when I was in a hurry. I mean, I mean, I can. I mean, I can, of course, but I don't want to because it's damaging. I don't use hair dryer to dry my hair. I just let it air dry. And sometimes in the evening when I wash my hair, I would put it in a pin curl so that when I wake up in the morning, it will have curls like this. This is pin curl, but. I have terrible brushing skills, so that needs to be developed. And I'm still learning. I'm still there's a lot to learn about heatless curls and pin curls. I feel like this color is worth the troubles. It it definitely worth all the uh, hassle I've been doing. I think it has been over six months. Has it been that long? I don't know. I think I'm. I will change it. Maybe. <laughs> So if you have any suggestions of colors, maybe just leave it in the comment section below and give a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you guys!